Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Janice and I'm a Thermomix consultant. So I've been out of town today and I've just got in. It's nearly 3.30 and we're doing the, the team, we're doing the silver side in the Varoma. Now it's family dinner time tonight so I haven't got that much time to get it going. Um, so I'm just going to step up and step in and start going. But what the first thing I'm going to do is make some bread rolls. So um, the Thermomix, I've just pulled it out of the dishwasher. And I'm going to pop it back together. Um, so I pulled the ring off the blade um, to, and popped it in the dishwasher. Okay. And that is together like that and we'll get into the bread roll so then we can put the dough aside to rise while we keep going with the cornmeal um, so my week my week basic bread rolls okay now we're going to start cooking So we're going to use, uh, we're going to make the whole wheat ones with using the wheat grains. Um, so you don't have to use the wheat grains, you can just add an extra 100 gram, omit this and add an extra 100 grams of flour when you get to add in the flour. So the first thing we're going to do is mill our wheat grains. on. I'll give that a dry up. With the measuring cup. I'm now um, one minute on speed. And then that's our freshly milled wheat. And it gives it a real whole meal um, texture. Poss possibly because I've used whole wheat. Next, and then we want 300 grams of water. Oops, a bit too much, doesn't matter. Um, two teaspoons of instant dry yeast. And now we're going to activate the yeast. So this is very basic. Um, I've showed you this like a million times. Um, now this is, like this is the same recipe as the basic bread that I always make. Um, it's just that it's, uh, these are quick bread rolls. Now, I'm not gonna show you me cooking the corn meat because I've already got a video um, doing this recipe. But as you can see, this recipe has been used and used and I have made notes on it and there's notes on the back and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm now happy enough that I've made this enough times that I am going to um, transfer this from the recipe community to Cookie Do for my created recipes. Now I don't rush in and do that because you've got room for a hundred of your own recipes, I think. So, 
um, it, it was filling up very fast, so I've slowed down and I'm considering what recipes I want to put in there. And it's the ones that I make all the time. So if you would like me to do a video on how I transfer this recipe over onto Cookie Do, let me know and we'll run through it. We'll do a bit of a bit of a tutorial from um, to transfer recipes from the recipe community to Cookie Do. I'm not going to rush into it. Um, if no one's interested, I'll go ahead and do it. But if you're all interested, if, if I've got a few people that are interested, I will do it and I'll include a video. I'll make a video of doing it. Um, you know, screenshots and everything. Um, I've done a few very quick, easy um, videos um, that show that, but I'll do a better one. So rightio, let's go on with the bread. Um, so now we've got 20 grams of olive oil. And when you take, if you take the lid off, check your scale to make sure that it's not, um, it's not on minus 370 something, which that was then because I took the, I took the lid off before I pressed next. No, after I pressed next. That was 20 grams. And 400, so 420 grams of paper square. going to do is I'm going to put in two teaspoons of this bread improver. And with the bread rolls, what we don't eat tonight, I will, don't know if I said it's, um, Sunday and it's family dinner tonight. So I am quickly throwing together some dinner. But yeah, whatever we don't use of these, I will toss in the freezer. And that was the reserve wheat flour that we just milled. Okay, and now we're going to give this a mix and then we'll give it a knead. Okay. I've got a spatula. Good job. I just want to, because it's, it tends to swap up on the lid a bit, and then it doesn't get it when it's kneading it. So I just like to um, give the lid a bit of a wipe down with the spatula. And then I'll, um, I'll just give, knock that down the sides so that um, when it's kneading, it gets all that wet bits. Now it doesn't say to do that, but um, I just feel that it improves the result. Right. So now you saw that I'm tapping on the side of the bowl. That is because I haven't got um, this sitting on the base. So the feet of the base are scales and if you're tapping on the side of the bowl it can upset your scales. Now we're going to knead it for two minutes. Right here, I'm going to get my stuff together while that's kneading, while it's not moving too far away from the thermomix. Um, but I'll be back and then we'll, um, 
we'll wrap it up in the thermomat and set it aside to rise. And while that's happening, I can continue on and get the corn milk on. Okay. So we go next. And it just says to transfer onto a silicon bread mat or flower works station. I'm going to, I'm not going to wash that bowl as I continue on with the recipe and with the corn meat because it's going to make a, we're going to use it to steam the, we're going to add veggies, give it a mix and then um, add water and then we'll steam the um, corn meat in the Varoma. Um, and that will all get cooked into the future sauce. So, and it's just flour. Well, it's flour, water, salt, yeast, and it's not much of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside to rise. Um, and I'll tell you what happens after this. So we wait for it to be doubled in size um, and that's, they say about 30 minutes. Then it's line a large baking tray. So I have got my pink um, mix shop trays with the, um, with the oven liner in them. So I'll use the one, that medium size one of that. It says to knock down dough and divide into 16 equal portions. Now I'm going to do 12. Um, and it says you can brush with water and sprinkle with seeds, but I'm just going to leave them, um, leave them um, with no seeds. But these ones here, you cook in a cold oven. You place them in a cold oven and then set the temperature to 200 degrees and then bake for 25 to 30 minutes. So this is taking a bit of the time that you would have for proving, and it gives them the opportunity to prove in the oven. So um, I'll be back once um, I have these on the tray. Um, I'm going to put a link, I'm gonna to try to put a link in the video to where I made this recipe. But all I've got there is an onion ch chopped in half. Um, it's actually a couple of small stalks of celery and two small carrots chopped up and um, we're going to chop them for three seconds on speed five so you can set that timer if you want or you can just wait for it to count up right here. and now we're going to add the liquid so i'm not going to um, video this i mean it would it will just take too much time and i'm i'm on a time crunch but i will i will link the recipe here somewhere. I'll put a link to the recipe here somewhere if I can work out how to do it. Um, and also, if you want me to um, translate it from recipe community to cookie do, I'll cook it, I will do it, and then I'll do the do, cook the recipe using um, our converted recipe, our created recipe. Right here. Um, I'll be back and I'll show you our bread rolls when they're ready to go in the oven. Okay, this is our um, bread. It's risen up beautifully. So it's been, yeah, probably at least 30 minutes. So we're gonna give this a knead up and then turn it into bread rolls. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, just get some of the air out of it and then cut it into 12 equal pieces, which is I know my times tables and four threes are 12, so if I cut it into four and then each piece into three, that should give me 12. Okay. 
Now, if you are fussy, and sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not, you can weigh your dough and get equal size pieces. But today, I am just grateful that um, I'm organised enough to have tea going so that when everyone gets here it'll be a little bit late but um, it won't be terrific oh, yeah. so I'm just going to Now I was going to put these straight in the oven, but I'm actually going to delay it a little bit because, see look at that, they're awful, look at that, that's really different sizes. Um, and this is my, um, the oven tray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them rise before I put them in the oven because that way they'll be a little bit warm still at dinner time, whereas if I put them in now, they will be cool by the time dinner time comes around. And I've done it that way too, and even though the recipe says to put them in a cold oven, what I'm going to do is let them rise um, in a regular fashion, and then I will um, I'll pop them in a 200 degree oven for um, however long they take, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Okay. So I will be back when we get them out of the oven. Don't know I love making bread. I've probably said that a thousand times. different sizes and all I'm going to do is flick that over the top okay so this here um, I've just turned the oven on but they're um, good enough and I'm going to toss them in the oven now and um, we'll have a look when they're cooked there are our beautiful, this tea towel's a little bit wet, so that'll probably the heat will go straight through. These are light as a feather. Um, can't wait for tea. Um, so if you are worried about um, whether or not the meal will feed you all. Um, making bread rolls is an easy fix. I mean, that didn't take very long at all for me. 
I mean, I threw everything in the Thermomix, kneaded up, left it to rise, made it into bread rolls, and that's cooked. Now this is also a quick one because you, you can cook it in a cold oven instead of doing a second rise. You can just add it to the cold oven and it'll puff up really beautifully. And um, this is one of the recipes we do at a Thermix cooking demonstration because it is such a quick and easy recipe. Rightio, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please give it a thumbs up, pop over to my channel and subscribe. And I really hope I'll see you next time. And don't forget to let me know if you'd like to see me um, convert the recipe over to my created uh, for the silver side of aroma. Now I'm going to do it anyway, but um, let me know if you'd like me to do a video and I will do. I hope I'll see you next time.